Now, data mining is widely used in education field to find the problem arise in these fields. Student performance is of great concern in the educational institutions where several factors may affect the performance. The factors that describe the student performance can be used or can be used for prediction for predicting students performance by using a number of well-known data mining classification algorithm such as decision tree that is a J48, Bayesian algorithm that is a naive base, neural network that is a multi-layer perceptron algorithm that is a Venice KNN that is a K nearest algorithm that means by using some kind of historical or some kind of previous student data we can analyze what kind of factors that are going to be affect to that to the performance of the students now the objective of this project is to predict the student performance by using a machine learning algorithm it is a bagging algorithm here in this project we will basically implement or we will basically use a bagging algorithm in order to predict the performance of students now about the bagging algorithm what is this bagging algorithm bagging stands for bootstrap aggregation it is a way to decrease the variance of your prediction by generating additional data for training from your original data using the combinations with repetitions to produce multiple sets of that original data that means what it will do it will basically pick or you can say that it basically rent it, it will basically randomly choose a, a set of data from the original data set by using uh, with no replacement that means it can select it can select multiple data sets from your original data and will combine or you can say that will generate the prediction for those uh, each and every combination of data by increasing the size of your training set you can't improve the model's predictive force but just decrease the variance narrowly tuning the prediction to expected outcomes that means by using this you can basically decrease the performance decrease the variance sorry variance means that you can increase the performance of that particular uh, data set now about the algorithm uh, algorithmic steps for the begging algorithm is that firstly we will input the training data set k is a number of models in the ensemble classified a learning algorithm the learning algorithm that is going to be uh, used into the bagging algorithm is rep3 now we have as an output we will get a classification model what it will do it will basically create the k models the k here we will specify number of iterations it will create a bootstrap sample that is a di by sampling d with replacement we will check we will basically randomly sample we will randomly select one sample from the data set use that di that sample to derive a model mi this process re is repeated for k number of iterations after that for each model which it has developed we we use to use the composite model on the particular tuple x if the classification then we will let each of the k model classify x instances and return the majority vote that means the each and every model prediction value is basically average in order to form the majority vote or in order to predict one particular class for that particular instance now about the flow chart for that particular that is a flow in which we need to proceed with this project first one is a collection of data now the data can be collected from various schools universities the previous student data how their performance would be and how what kind of factors that can affect the performance of that particular student now the collection of data from the various schools colleges and universities after that pre-processing or filter that data in order to clean up that data we do pre-processing and filtering on the data and then apply classification on that filter data using the bagging approach after that we will analyze the performance parameter of this bagging approach now the tool used in this project is java jdk with NetBeans and Weka as an external library. Now I am going to demonstrate the same project into NetBeans. What we will do is that I have created the project. It is a student performance prediction over here. I will right click to the graphical user interface file then click to the run file button. It will give me one interface in which I need to browse the dataset first. If it is not loaded into this, these datasets. 
like here i will browse the data set here that is updated data set dot csv this browse data set i'll click over here and the content of that data set will be shown here now what kind of parameters or what kind of attributes used in this data set is that that is a communication language phobia the confidence level of the students the homesickness involvement in the extracurricular activities hesitation medical fitness of that particular student intellectual limitations negative attitude time wastage due to transportation all these are basically the genuine factors which are basically you can also deal uh, with same kind of attributes in day to day life like atmosphere in the university communication phobia is also a very good parameter like some student have uh, the language phobia that means they cannot interact with the teacher or with any other student uh, because of the language issue because uh, many many students uh, can talk in english some students can't talk in english that means there is kind of language phobia they can't express uh, their doubts to the basically the teacher in the class who is going to be deliver the lecture that, that this is also the main factor some kind of confidence level is also a very good factor uh, that can affect the performance of the student now all these are basically the factors uh, over here after that we'll click to the next button in order to pre-process or filter we have we'll have one filter over here that is a replace missing value filter that will replace the values if we have some kind of missing value in some column after that we'll click to the next button in order to apply the bagging classification algorithm what it will denote is that basically we have total of 568 instances over here that is 568 students data we have out of these 411 students data are correctly classified by the bagging algorithm corresponds to 72 percent of accuracy and 157 percent 157 instances are incorrectly classified corresponds to 27.64 percent of inaccuracy we have kappa statistics value that is 0.54 that is the matching percentage between the actual and the predicted values by the bagging algorithm now we have error rates we have detailed class accuracy over here now the performance we have basically classified the performance into very good good consistent very bad and bad into basically the five categories now this confusion matrix denotes the sum of diagonal elements corresponds to the correctly classified instances and sum of non diagonal elements corresponds to the incorrectly classified instances all these true positive false positive rates are also calculated from this confusion matrix that means true positive plus true negative false positive false negative all these are basically coming out from this confusion matrix that's all with this session thank you so much for listening